Hello and welcome to Gavin's Good News Vlog, the best place to come for all the best of positive, upbeat and happy news around. Today's Good News Vlog is a really inspiring one. It's about this hairdresser called Joshua Coombs. He's a really, really inspirational guy because what he's doing is he's going around meeting homeless people um, and giving them haircuts and completely transforming and revitalizing their look their image and consequently their self-worth. And it's absolutely incredible what this guy's doing. He started a movement, or was part of a movement, I think, called uh, Do Something For Nothing. So a DSFN, it's a hashtag that's on social media. And um, yeah, it really is absolutely incredible to see the effect that he has on the people that he meets and the people that he works with. He's been doing it for quite a while now. This is a guy who's, uh, who kind of comes across people in the street. He's a professional hairdresser, of course, but comes across people in the street um, in London at the moment, but he's been around the UK and also around the world too. He's done Paris as well, Berlin, but he meets people, you know, like army veterans and people who've, you know, had broken relationships and have been on the street for whatever reason and um, gives them a complete and total contrasting makeover. Let's just have a look at some of the work he's done now. And, you know, it's just absolutely incredible to see the change and transformation, not only in look, but also in personality of the people he works with. The reason I started cutting hair on the street initially was actually the magnitude of the problem, like seeing how big this problem is in each city. It's really hard to know what to do about that. And, and I think it was from that feeling that I had to impact today. I had to do something positive to make someone smile and realize that even if you can't solve a problem, actually it's okay to just do your own thing. And for me, that's hairdressing. I love what I do. So it's a great way to be able to um, give someone confidence. For me, like one of the most amazing moments is giving someone the mirror at the end of the haircut. because. It's great to see someone's reaction because they might recognize someone they haven't seen for a few years. Five, four, three, two, one, ta da! Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 20 years younger. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Stuart, what we said. Nobody's going to recognize me. Mate, you're a, you're a new man right now. Yeah, thank you. Uh, everybody basically has a story, and I think one of his core tenets, and um, what one of the things that I think makes this campaign really, really stand out, is that uh, it's not just about giving a homeless person a haircut and a bit of a you know a bit of a trim. It's it's all about hearing their story and hearing like you know their their life journey. And a lot of these people just want to be able to talk and express that. And most people don't give them the time of day. I don't know whether you just sort of walk by and not necessarily engage with homeless people, but I certainly don't really. And it's, it's just, I just think it's a, the done thing in a way. People just have got busy lives. They kind of carry on with their own thing. It's part of the habit of, of, of London life these days. You know, people just kind of carry on and, and do what they do what they do their own, in their own little bubbles. And it's, I just find it, it's, it's, people need to talk. People do need to, people need to talk to, to feel better about themselves and to, you know, express and engage and feel human. You know, part of that campaign and part of why I think it's incredible is because he's got these people to, you know, get out of their, you know, their, their shelves and to express themselves again. So Joshua Coombs, I think that what, you know, what you're doing is absolutely phenomenal. And I, I know there's a couple of people in America that have done a similar thing. There's a guy called the Men's Groomer who's um, part of now the CBS Late Late Show team, who is, you know, he's an amazing guy too, Jason Schneidman, phenomenal chap. Um, but yeah, I just, I just think that, you know, going out and doing something for nothing, you know, it makes the world of difference to someone else, you know, and it makes such an impact on somebody else's life. These are sometimes the people that Joshua is working with are, are people who've lost everything. They're certainly at a point where they, um, you know, they may, maybe have spiraled into depression, they may have, you know, um, lost a partner, lost a friend, completely just, you know, lost their job, lost their lost their kind of their passion for life. Um, and, you know, they just maybe need that little bit of a helping hand back up again. So I would love to be involved in this Do Something For Nothing campaign in some sort of way, shape or form. Um, and I'm going to try and think about some ways to try and engage in that. Uh, I don't know how or what, where I'll start, but I definitely think it's something um, that after seeing something like this, it's really inspired me to do uh, something and if you're ever up for if you're up for doing something like that as well let me know i'd love to know whether you do something for nothing whether you volunteer whether you give up your time for helping other people in need or whether you sort of do charity work that kind of stuff i just feel like we're in a place at the moment with the sort of current environment you know brexit trump etc where it's quite um all about the self all about your own all about your own sort of views all about your own sort of way 
and it's quite a selfish world that we live in these days. So stuff like this is just incredible, I think, and I hope that it spreads. So do let me know what you think about this story. Hit us up in the comments below. And as ever, do like, subscribe, hit the notifications bell, uh, and hopefully we'll see you again for the next Gavin's Good News vlog. Thank you very much, Lee, for watching. Stay positive, keep happy, and we'll see you again very soon indeed. Yeah.